वेलकम टू माय बुज न्यूज इसासव की इरटियन रूलर इज इन रशिया ऑन अ फोर डे विजिट अराउंड ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स आई डेड अ वीडियो विद मिस एडमा अबाउट अ मीटिंग बिटवीन इसासव की एंड रशियन प्रेसिडेंट पुटन वेयर इसासव की स्पोक इन डिटेल अबाउट द नीड फॉर अ न्यू वर्ल्ड ऑर्डर I have received a video clip of this meeting between Isasev Verki and the President Putin. Uh Isasev Verki was very unimpressive. He apologized to Putin when he started his talk and he read from written uh document just like he was reading uh, his homework to a teacher i have this clip of for you secondly viewers uh, janel bachadable is ethiopian ambassador to kenya uh, he was a janel uh, leading ethiopian army when tigray forces were trying to reach addis ababa later he was uh, appointed as ambassador to kenya i have a clip of uh, jal bacha dabale for you showing uh, his participation in a program organized by eritrean embassy in kenya firstly viewers uh, eritrean president asasaf woki is in russia a four day official visit and there he is uh, holding talks uh talks are uh, not focused on economy and investment or you can say focus is not as much on economy and investment as on other issues and it's very clear because uh, in china he was accompanied by minister of finance minister of uh, trade investment but but here he is accompanied by minister of uh, foreign affairs mr foreign affairs was there in china too and uh, yesterday isasev ki visited uh, patriots park which commemorates the martyrs of the second world war russian martyrs of second world war and uh, before that he held a meeting with uh, president putin Uh, did a video on that detailed video putin spoke he spoke about need for uh, more cooperation he talked about uh, likely agreements between uh, erti and russia uh, he talked about upcoming russia africa summit he invited sasevki to attend the upcoming summit in in july i think he mentioned eritrea russia diplomatic relations the start of it and he mentioned eritrea independence day he thanked us as a vogi when he saw as a vogi stern to speak came he apologized to president putin and then he started reading from a piece of paper just like a student was reading his homework to a teacher very unimpressive though he spoke a lot about in his talk he spoke about global new global order need for new world order he talked about cold war he talked about uh, break up of ussr he talked about uh, uh, some forces which want to establish a unipolar world without naming us and uh, the uh, western countries criticized them a lot but all the while he was criticizing talking about global issues he was reading from a piece of paper very unimpressive like he was unimpressed when he was in kenya a few months ago if you remember he visited kenya uh, and there he had a joint press briefing with william ruto and journalists are some tough questions they ask questions about who would succeed sasevok they ask questions about how many had been killed how many eritrean soldiers had been killed in tigray and they ask questions about uh, war crimes allegedly committed by eritrean forces in tigray sasevok had no answer back then he just uh, looked towards william ruto 
he was very uh, unimpressive, embarrassing. Same happened. If you have the vision, if you have the knowledge to speak about new world order, at least should be uh, you should be able to speak without uh, reading from a piece of paper. That is why I found him unimpressive in his talk with uh, Putin. Though uh, uh, he raised big issues. Uh, and secondly, he did not focus much on Eritrea Russia relations. It was as if he was trying to uh, ask Putin that Putin should take on West and US that, and that Eritrea is standing with Russia. Overall, not a good uh, display of uh, confidence. Uh, by, by the way, he's a confident man. Uh, I have not seen him apologize, by the way. Uh, but uh, in the last two appearances, in Kenya and in Russia, he uh, failed to impress people, I think. Uh, watch the clip of Isasevoki when he met with uh, President Putin of Russia. Apologize for the incomfortance. Uh, malleable vehicles of domination used in the past 30 years to impose a unipolar world Mr. Lavrov to Osmara and the subsequent visit of all the... Secondly, viewers, uh, who is Janel Bacha Dable? Janel Bacha Dable is a former general of Ethiopian National Defense Force. He was leading uh, ENDF soldiers when Tagarai forces entered uh, Amhara far regions when Ethiopian forces surrounded Tagarai and uh, back then he was one of top commanders in the field. Then he and General Hassan were relieved from military and they were appointed as ambassadors. One to Kenya and the other to Egypt I think. Uh, Bacha has been very active in Kenya. We have seen that uh, because peace uh, negotiations were held in Pretoria and in Nairobi, Kenya. So he was there with uh, Birhana Jula when peace talks were held. When Birhana Jula returned to Ethiopia after successful completion of peace talk with TPLF from Kenya, he accompanied uh, Birhana Jula on his return to Ethiopia. And a few days ago, uh, he attended uh, a virtual meeting and there he spoke in detail and very clearly about the presence of foreign forces on Tigray territories. He basically denied the presence of foreign forces on Tigray territories. So without naming Eratia, he said that uh, all border areas, uh, western zone, were under ENDF control. So basically he said that uh, Eritrean military was out of a Tigray. But Tigray's position is different. Tigray says that uh, Amhara forces, Eritrean forces are still in parts of Tigray. And uh, a few days ago CNN published uh, a report and before that UNOCH reported about uh, their failure to enter a town which was part of Tigray before the start of this war because the town was under the control of Eritrean military. Jal Bacha Dable is close to Eritrean ambassador to Kenya and a few days ago he attended Eritrean Independence Day celebrations held in Kenya. I think the celebrations, the program was held in Nairobi, Kenya. Bacha Dable was invited by Eritrean ambassador to Kenya and he attended. He was seen there dancing with uh, Eritrean diplomats. Eritrea is a reality now. Though some Ethiopians might be nostalgic, uh, they might be dreaming of uh, another, dreaming of united Ethiopia once again, Ethiopia Eritrea united. But Eritrea is now a reality. So it's good that uh, Eritrean Ethiopian diplomats uh, stay in touch. Uh, 
Yes, there are concerns uh, among some groups in Ethiopia, uh, especially in Tigray, about uh, growing cooperation and coordination between Eritrean and Ethiopian diplomats abroad. Uh, but Bachadavla is uh, closer, very, very close to uh, Eritrean diplomats in uh, Nairobi, uh, Kenya. Watch a clip showing uh, Bachadavla dancing at such a program organized by Eritrean Embassy in Kenya. Take watch. <laughs> 